<clears throat> I'm Michael. Today is Friday, October 13th, 1980, and I'm at Kruger Mountain. Jason and I are the only ones left after a series of attacks by a third party. There, there were eight of us. I found Lori hours ago, and I hid in the bushes until I saw Michael again. After Mike and I met up, we went out and we found the rest of our friends. I managed to survive an attack by the killer. Uh, he was wearing a hockey mask and a jumpsuit. I think he had a machete. It wasn't a kitchen knife? No, I'm pretty sure it was a machete. Plus, uh, how would you know what the killer was holding? Well, you know how I found Lori, right? She was wounded. And before she bled out, she told me the killer used a kitchen knife and was wearing a Halloween mask. I found the knife behind the tents and everything. I decided to keep the knife for safety. I also found a sheath, but it was for a machete. That must have been the other killers. I, I ran into Freddy before he, he died. Come, come borrow your knife. And he said that the killer had a hockey mask and a machete. Thanks. Not a hockey mask. Fred did manage to stab the killer with his pocket knife uh, before he died. And the killer dropped the machete next to him, which I actually kept for myself. Same as you did with the knife. So if Fred and Lori each saw the killer, but with different masks and weapons, then wouldn't that mean there were two killers? I suppose it does, but we each have the killer's weapons, so they must have stopped their rampages. So we're safe for now. Well, is it cool if I have that machete? Because I do have the sheath for it. Yeah, sure. You didn't come in contact with any killers, did you? No. I found Lori. I was spooked. And then I hid in the bushes where you found me. Um, how'd you get that wicked gash on your arm? Because those bushes you're hiding in seemed pretty cozy to me. Um, I, I don't know. I, I was trying to make sure I didn't run into a psychopath. I wasn't paying any attention when I was hiding in the bushes to any cuts or bruises I got. Well, the cut on your arm seems to match uh, Fred's pocket knife, and he stabbed the killer with his knife, but uh, I didn't find it on him, and you, you seem to have it. Are you insinuating that I killed Freddy? Well, you just happened to find a sheath to a machete, without a machete in it, and I'm willing to bet if we go back to the bushes you're hiding in, we'd find your hockey mask. <laughs> I can't believe I'm friends with a serial killer. Yeah, I can't believe it either, but um, you're totally right. But you're one to talk. So what do you mean? Well, there were two killers which is surprising to me, and probably a surprise to you, being the other killer and all. What, what makes you think I'm the other killer? Well, first off, I ran into the other killer, you, and we had a little spat. And in that, I cut off two of his fingers. His ring finger and his pinky finger. Am I wrong to assume that it was you that I cut the fingers off of? It's not exactly evidence. Nothing to support your delusion that I'm the other serial killer. But your shoes are covered in blood, but not yours. Shit, I... Forgot to change out of your serial killer shoes? <laughs> I almost made that mistake myself. Perfect. Bitch. We did it. <laughs> we did it.